In this video, we are taking a look at the Arwa Storm Kuru boots by Grand Stone. These ones are actually my second pair of boots by that brand. I uh, never thought in a million years that I was gonna go with the Ottawa boots as my second pair of boots from Grand Stones, but I had the opportunity to buy them and I jump into the first opportunity. Main characteristic of these boots is the split split toe. They have the mock toe or the the mock toe boots with a split toe, uh, very, very heavily inspired by the uh, tanker boots by Alden with the similar, similar toe box design. They are made in the Leo Lass, which uh, is also the same Lass where they use for their diesel boots. So this one, in a way, it resembles the same toe box as the diesel boot, but it has the mock toe and the split toe here. Construction for this boot, they use the Microstat rubber sole, which is very similar to the Dianite. Not the best choice for the Michigan winter. So right now we're in the middle of winter here. I have only worn these boots a few times just to do light things here at home and go out to the grocery store. Uh, they have a good size leather midsole and they have this uh, 360 Goodyear welt. They use the split reversed welt for it. And the kudu leather. Kudu is uh, an animal from Africa and uh, uh, it's very similar to a deer, um, an antelope. And uh, because the wildlife that this animal has, uh, their leather usually has all kind of scarves and cuts and all kind of things which provide a lot of character to the finish of the boots. Color is light gray, very similar to uh, other pair of boots that I have already actually, but I'm okay with that. The style is very different. So I decided to go with that. Four eyelets and three speed hooks. I put uh, the leather laces that I really enjoy in boots for some reason. And the kudu leather actually is the very lightweight leather, very stretchy. When I got these boots actually put them on for the first time, they were a little bit tight and a little bit uncomfortable here on my, uh, these four eyelets here. Usually that's where I get most of the pain whenever I wear new boots, but within hours that went away and I thought that leather was already just uh, stretching to form on my, on the shape of my foot really well. One of the reason why <laughs> I was debating on this style of boot is because because they're split toe that make 100% these boots casual boots and the style of boots that I've been getting uh, lately is more work type of boots with uh, not many belt and whistles so I thought I was going to have a hard time uh, styling them with an outfit to go to work but I've been looking a lot of pictures on Instagram there's a lot of people making content about these boots and I'm getting some ideas so maybe I uh, I have the opportunity to make them uh, work for me other than that a weekend boot church uh, chopping run errands and um, I wear a lot of denim so I think they will be fine I'll, I think they will work for me they go for about $400 more or less, I think with chipping and all that things, it may uh, go a little bit high the price, but it is, a, it is a well, it is a good investment, investment I'll say, because the boots are really well made. Um, this leather here, uh, Grand Stone get them from the tannery in England, CF Dad, and that's what they make, uh, that's what they tend this leather, and that's a really good quality. So $400 may be a lot of money for, for the majority of us for boots. 
uh, but also it could be uh, very, very uh, affordable for some other people. I think uh, if I compare this one with other boots that are about same quality, I think the $400 is, the, is a, a really good investment. You can also find them, uh, um, buy them from somebody else who make the order the wrong side or something and they're selling it and uh, go a little bit lower. You can save some money that way. But other than that, it's a really good investment. I'm um, planning on wearing them a little bit more in the fall season and also springtime. Right now with the winter that we have here in Michigan, this sole is just uh, not, it doesn't have enough grip for me to, to walk in the snow or in icy sidewalks around here. Other than that, that's the gray boot. My name is Ben. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Please consider to give a thumbs up to this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, come back here for more videos next week. And until I'll talk to you again, please stay well and don't forget to wear your boots. Bye.